Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Hope you're off to a great start to your day. Kind of early, but I do hope you're up and at them. Got some uh, folders, not folders in your cup, Maxwell House or whatever you drink. I've got the uh, Black Rifle coffee murdered out uh, in my cup this morning. As with uh, most mornings, uh, I've entitled today's uh, episode of GOTV, um, When God... Oh, what the heck did I call it? Anyways, that's terrible. You think I should, uh, you know, I don't know. Anyways, but I digress. Let's get to getting here. I'm an idiot. So, where am I going? Oh, yes, when God gives me a sign, um, I pay attention. Um, I've been, you know, doing my daily readings uh, and the whatnot, and he keeps all these ministers and pastors and writers um, all seem to be talking about James and the tongue lately. And uh, I don't think that's a coincidence, um, at least for me. So I kind of did some uh, soul searching, uh, and I, I can give you a perfect example, and I'm ashamed to say it, but I've got to come. Hey, good morning, Patricia. I've got to come to you in with the real me. So yesterday, uh, I'm at work, and I'm we're having a discussion. Uh, somebody's working late, and I said, well, why are you working late? And he says, well, so-and-so is not coming in. I'm like, oh, that's a shame. And then they said, well, his son's not coming in either. And I said, oh, no great loss. <clears throat> and as I reflected back on it, that was wrong. The tongue. Now, granted, the person I was talking about, which I shouldn't have been talking about, unless I'm praising him or lifting him up, uh, didn't hear it. But uh, two other people heard it. And, and what does that say about me? Where I would say something, you know, off the cuff, very flippant. Um... um it's just not right. And, and the tongue is just, oh, no one can tame it. Um, and, you know, so that was another factor in into this message. Uh, the tongue, the tongue, James, you know, James. So I'm going to, hey, and you know when I break out my church Bible? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Um, he's talking about the tongue. This is James. And James is a really, really good book. Um, however... He has created, uh, the Lord has created, uh, some kind of controversy because he kind of implies to a certain effect, and maybe I'll talk about it later, about, you know, uh, good works and um, and the whatnot. But let me progress so I can uh, get ready and get my rear end out the door on my way to Cross Mountain. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird and, or reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. No man can tame the tongue. One more time. No man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and our Father, and with it we curse, mem we curse men who have been made in similar fashion of God. Paraphrased. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Out of the same mouth mouth proceed blessing and cursing my brethren these things ought not to be so you know i i, I as i look back I'm, I'm truly ashamed about what i said yesterday and i need to to, to pray more um express in prayer my desire for humility you know, to make the you know because if i'm truly humble i would have never said anything like that you know, uh, if I'm truly humble, if I'm, you know, my words, your words should be lift, should be used to lift people up. No matter, because we all have faults. I, mean, I can only imagine what people say about me, but I can't, you know, that's neither here nor there. We need to use our tongue today, and that's what I ask of you, I implore you today, to 
You know, Tony Dungy spoke on it today. Uh, Alistair Begg wrote on it in his devotional yesterday. Again, it's to me, it's not a coincidence. The Lord is saying, hey, George, really pay attention to what you've been saying recently. Use your words to reflect my love for mankind. George, use your words to reflect how you truly care for your fellow man. And I need to work on that today. He closes with this. Does a spring send forth both fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Thus, no spring yields both salt water and fresh. I've, I've used that particular passage uh, before in the past uh, about cursing, uh, and I've really worked on, on that. Um, but it's almost apples and oranges. You know, yes, we shouldn't swear, we shouldn't cuss. Um, but to use our words to lift others up. You know, as our parents used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. And I failed in that aspect uh, yesterday. And I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm, in, I'm ashamed. Um, but I, I have the faith enough to, to share it with you. So again, not to say, hey, well, look at me. You know, I sinned and I told you about it. Hopefully it's not coming off that way. But I need you guys to understand. If I need, if I truly want you to follow me, and I do, as we march on towards Christ and march on to eternity, you have to know that uh, I am human. Uh, you have to know that I will fight for you, uh, that I will always do my best to do what I say and say what I do. And that's how I want to live my life. So get out there today. Uh, get your butt to church. Pardon my language. I sent my brother Richard a message this morning. I said, wake up! Get your butt to church. Um, but, get, but get out there. Um, and I, you know, I love to say, I have a couple closing taglines. I'll, I'll use a couple of them today. Let's get out there and be about our father's business. But to me, um, let's get out there today and make a difference in someone's life, including our own. But today, more importantly, uh, use words that uplift people, not to tear them down. Uplift people. Pay a compliment to somebody. Hey, you look really great today. Did you do something different with your hair? Hey, I like your shoes. Hey, that color looks good on you. Uh, can I pray for you? I did that to a person at work the other day. Hey, is there anything I can pray for you about? And she replied, yeah, my health. And so, boom. And, and when you do that, and I know I'm rambling, when you do that, if you can, do it right then and there. Don't say you do it later, because more than likely, you'll forget. I've forgotten. But as soon as I walked away from her, I stepped aside and just a quick 10 to 15 second prayer. Uh, but use your words today to uplift and to quote Toby Mac, speak life, speak life, speak life. Get out there. Have a great and awesome day. Get to church. Get to church. If you can't get to church, at least watch it online. Crossmountain.church. I think it's Crossmountain. But yeah, Crossmountain.church. I love you guys. Appreciate your time. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. It's about three minutes too long. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, working on some messages on Psalms. I bought way too many commentaries lately on Psalms, but uh, it's, it'll be worth it. Thank you.